Hi folks, uh, my dear friends, my beloved students. So today's topic is about ECG. Question is like this. What is ECG? What is ECG? Lead speak segments, etc. So take your pens, papers and let's go. So about ECG. So what is ECG? Don't forget that this we have to open this uh, abbreviation ECG. Electrocardiography. So that is, remember that, electric picture of the heart. Electric picture of the heart. Nothing else. Nothing less, nothing more. <laughs> but electric picture. So of course it's a non-invasive test uh, that we use to record the electrical activity of the heart over a period of time. So it provides valuable information about the heart's rhythm and uh, any abnormalities in its conduction system. That's okay. So about the leads, my beloveds. <coughs> so we have so-called bipolar lead leads or Eindhoven leads. Actually, he is received. In 24, 1924, if my memory doesn't fail me, Nobel Prize for that. So we have uh, Eindhoven bipolar lead leads or just vertical leads. One, two, three. Why is vertical? Because it's a rule of triangle. So we put the uh, <coughs> the leads on the extremities. One, two, three. No, classically, it's a question of tradition. We use Roman numbers. One, two, three. And then we have monopolar augmented limb leads. So that leads were invented uh, by Goldberger. They record the electric activity between two limb electrodes, AVR, AVL, AVF. So we have to open the abbreviation that's the same. So one, two, three, and AVR, AVL, AVF are vertical leads. So to see hard from the ventricle points of view. We have to open the abbreviation. So A is augmented. V is a vector or voltage. R, it's a right hand. L, it's a left hand. And obviously, F, it's a foot. AVP doesn't exist. Okay? And we have precordial chest leads. There we put uh, Wilson leads. V1 to V6 that we put on the chest. By that, so these are horizontal and there are verticals. We see all the leads. Oh, uh, sorry, we have to see hard from all angles or from uh, uh, points of view. So normal sinus rhythm. Uh, <coughs> there is another question, but anyway, we have to, uh, in the normality, we have to talk about that. What is normal rhythm? Normal rhythm is the sinus rhythm. That is that energy produced in a pacemaker first degree, natural pacemaker first degree, that's situated in SA node, sinoatrial node, that's why the name is sinus node. Normal means regular, regular. Okay, so about P, P, uh, P wave represents atrial depolarization, so in the indicating the beginning of atrial, so depolarization is electric term, physiological term, it's a contraction or systole, then we have QRS complex. It's another systole or another depolar depolarization. It's a ventricular depolarization, of course. And ventricular depolarization, my beloveds, is a QRS. That's because the QR ventricles are 10 times bigger than the atria, no, approximately. That's why QRS is much bigger PQR than uh, P wave. So between these two depolarization, we have a PQ, or sometimes we talk about PR interval, and this is, a, of course, atrioventricular delay. And this duration is not more than one-fifth of a second, or just 0 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.2 uh, seconds, one-fifth of a one, 0.2 second, one-fifth of a second, 0.2 second. This is a uh, PR or PQ interval that represents atrioventricular depolarization. Then we've got ST segment. It's a ventricular repolarization. So actually we have uh, two systoles on ECG between. It's a AV delay. That's why we hear lambda. Uh, about atrial repolarization, my beloveds, we can say nothing. We presume that it's on uh, maybe somewhere in the PQ interval, but we don't talk about 
atrial repolarization on ECG. And finally, once again, ST, it's a, it's what? It's a uh, repolarization of, of the ventricles. So, about interpretation, normal sinus rhythm, a regular uh, with a rate between 6 to 100. No, 50, sometimes we can say 50 to 100, of course, in rest. With PEEP wave preceding every each QRS complex and a consistent PQ, PR and QT interval. So what's about arrhythmias? No, that's not your question, but just you can answer that abnormal heart rhythms, including uh, any types of extra beats, this is arrhythmia, and the conduction abnormalities. Actually, we can also say that this is arrhythmia, but there is a question of tradition with that we divide arrhythmias by are just extra bits and conduction of abnormal abnormalities, for example, AV block, uh, bundle branch block, etc. And uh, actually, it's largely sufficient for your um, state exams questions. So, thanks for your attention. See you in another lectures. God bless you.